Good day, everybody. Welcome to Grace Ministry USA Daily Devotionals, guys. Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not quarrel or cry aloud, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not quench until he brings justice to victory. And in his name the Gentiles will hope. Matthew 12, 18 through 21. Jesus demonstrated his father in every aspect of his life on earth, guys. Through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, Matthew takes a passage from Isaiah and uses it to focus on an aspect of God that is not considered enough. Jesus humbled himself and became a servant to others. Jesus, who is God and creator in flesh, humbled himself and became a servant to his creation. Jesus did not demand to be worshipped while on earth. He did not loudly proclaim his divinity and demonstrate his authority by great signs such as, such as calling fire down from heaven to consume the Roman oppressors. That's what the religious leaders wanted Jesus to do. But... Jesus did not demand to be served, but was a servant to all who followed him. He came to serve, not be served. God in the same way does not strike dead all that reject him. Nope, he sure doesn't. Rather, instead, he reveals himself through creation, his act of love on the cross. Jesus showed he was of God by his miracles, just as God is seen in his miraculous creation. Both Jesus and the Father provided evidence for all who wanted to see. Consider the careful, tender care that it takes to handle a bruised reed without breaking it or the amount of work needed to keep a smoldering wick from going out. It requires a consistent, gentle breath of air to keep it going. This is the same constant, gentle care that God gives to his creation. Such devotion comes only from a heart of service. Imagine the same God who spun out the galaxies or placed a complex code into DNA into a strand with just a word. <laughs> Think of that. All that would give all of himself for all of us. He can do that and he still gives himself. This week, guys, spend some time meditating on the fact that God loves us so much that he chooses to care for us with such tenderness that is beyond our understanding. Let that knowledge cause us to desire more of God and less of ourselves. Let's pray. God, this week, as we go about our week, Father, Lord, I pray that you show us what it is that you want us to do, who it is that you want us to affect in our world for you, for your purposes. God, you are the way, the truth, and the life, Father. And it says if we draw near to you, you will draw near to us. And that is my hope as we go about our week, Father, that we continue to seek you as you continue to work in our lives, God. Please, Father God, bring the Holy Spirit onto the United States, Father. Smother it with love and kindness and goodness and gentleness. God, I'm praying for our leaders. I'm praying for our country. I'm praying for our world, Father. We are hurting, 
broken and desperate and we need you to show up and show out like never before father in the name of jesus i pray amen guys please give us a thumbs up a subscribe we're trying to get the the word out we're trying to grow the channel but we can't do it on our own we're fighting algorithms we're fighting the machine we're fighting technology we need help guys give us a thumbs up give us a subscribe help us grow the channel so we can reach people for the glory of god to build grace ministry in a way that we can help and affect and make real change and do good that is my hope please help us out give us a thumbs up if anything we're not asking for donations we're not asking for any of that we just need a thumbs up we need some help we need some love please guys in jesus mighty name help us out amen hope you have a great week god bless you and god bless your week